Hi Calvary, Amber here. Today we're going to be looking at Psalm 17. This psalm is a lament psalm of David's, and he's writing about a time when he was unjustly wronged. And maybe you have had a time like that in your life where someone wronged you and you didn't feel like you deserved it. And if that's ever been you, then this is a psalm for you. And we're going to look at a couple verses starting in verse 6. And it says, I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me. Hear my words. Wondrously show your steadfast love, O Savior of those who seek refuge from their adversaries at your right hand. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. We can see here that we can call upon God and that he hears us and that he answers us because of his steadfast love for us. See, these are not empty cries to God. He is waiting and listening for us and ready to respond to us. He is our refuge and our strength in times of troubles, in times where we're overwhelmed and worried. We can run to God and he is there waiting for us. Um, he is going to comfort us and give us peace and hope and he is going to help us in those times of trouble. See, he wants to care for you. He loves you and he wants to help you in those times of need, just like he helped David. And see, David doesn't end here. He finishes this prayer in verse 15 and he says, as for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied with your likeness. See, David ends this psalm with a victorious anticipation of being in God's presence for all eternity. And that is true for us as well, those who have a relationship with Jesus and have committed their life to following him as their Lord and Savior. And that also applies to us in our everyday life. See, we have the hope of salvation in Jesus. And so we don't have to worry about things in this life because we know that our, our eternity is secure in Jesus. And so my prayer for you is that no matter what is going on in life, but especially in times of trouble, that you will run to Jesus that you will find your refuge, your peace, your hope in Jesus, and that you allow him to help you and carry you through whatever that you're going and remember the hope that you have in the salvation of Jesus and that one day you will get to behold Jesus's face and be in his presence for all eternity. Have a great day, Calvary. Bye.